So hey, what's up guys, it's your boy Soji Gray and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that anytime a new video is released, you're going to be updated instantly. Uh, all these big smartphone manufacturers and brands are trying to venture into podcasting, providing podcasting services and providing apps that people can use in editing podcasts or consuming podcasts and Samsung as part of those big brands. So if you happen to have one of the latest Samsung, like the Note 10 line, the Note 20 line, or the S20 line, you would have access to Samsung's uh, podcast app called Samsung Podcasts, which you can access through Samsung Free. So for those of you who don't know what Samsung Free is, you'll notice that if you're on your home screen this way, normally if you swipe to the left, you can have access to the Google feed. Well, you still have that. So if I pinch on the home screen now and I swipe to the left, you have two options. You can choose to have Google Discover as your Google feed or you can have Samsung Free as your feed. So now we're using Samsung Free so that we can be able to access Samsung podcasts. With Samsung Free, you have access to other things you can watch content for free you can also listen to podcasts for free read the news for free and then play some games for free as well so to access the podcast app you have to click listen and then we have the podcast app now what are my initial impressions of samsung podcasts i think it still has some drawbacks it's i'll call it half baked because uh, for someone like me who is big on listening to podcasts and who has experience listening to podcasts on other platforms like Spotify and uh, Breaker, Pocket Cast, I do think uh, Samsung Podcasts is missing some features. Uh, I think number one is you cannot download podcasts onto your phone. So you can't actually listen to podcasts offline, which I think is a big bummer, especially in Africa where you'd have a lot of dumb saw or you'd have a lot of electricity outages that's going to affect your data or affect your Wi-Fi. So you need to have content offline so that you can consume. You don't have that uh, in, in your area it might be different, but I think in my uh, kind of in my geographical location, that's one big issue. And it's nice to have podcasts downloaded just in case the Internet is having some connectivity issues. You can listen to them. So that doesn't have that. Aside that, I think it's pretty difficult to publish your your podcasts onto Samsung Podcasts. I checked online, they have not really given any um, guideline on how to publish a podcast onto their platform, which is kind of a bummer. So a ton of you guys might not know this, but I have a podcast called Geeky Conversations. And in Geeky Conversations, I actually have uh, conversations with my friends about tech and how tech affects their lives and I checked for geeky conversations on Samsung podcasts and nothing popped up so I was curious like a ton of people have the Samsung smartphone it would be nice to actually uh, publish my podcast so that people who have Samsung devices who want to use Samsung podcasts can have access to them but uh, there's no way of doing that I also tried to look for some of my favorites podcasts so like uh, business wars from wondery and i did not get that as well so searching for business wars nothing came up so that is also a bummer so it means that most of this big time um, podcasts are not yet on samsung podcasts which is something i do not like aside that i really love the interface um, they have different categories, so the science and medicine, sports and recreation, technology, and so on and so forth. So you can look through and select what you think you would love to listen to. Uh, the podcast player itself has a very nice, you know, animation to it, which I love. And once you're listening to a particular podcast, you can also see the the next in line to what you're going to listen to, which is also pretty cool. Uh, you can skip back 15 seconds or skip forward 15 seconds. Unlike this, uh, we don't, uh, unlike uh, what's it called, Pocket Cast, which also gives you the ability to boost volume and do other things. This is just very basic in my opinion. I do think it's a good thing Samsung is venturing into podcasting. I believe they should invest more. I think podcasting or podcast listening or consuming is the next big thing. So they should do. Uh, maybe bring about a separate app that anyone can install. So even if you're not on Samsung, if you're not using a Samsung device, you can still access the Samsung podcast 
uh, player and then you can use that because you know uh, Apple is getting big into podcasting Spotify is and Amazon just bought a okay not just bought but like recently bought a Wondry the the podcast production company so podcasting is becoming the next big thing so it would be nice for Samsung to venture into it and since they have a lot of uh, high-end to mid-range to low-end devices it would be nice to bring podcasting to the masses so this is my opinion and my first impressions of the Samsung podcasts app um, if you want to get access to it again you have to have the Samsung free app I think APK Mirror has an APK for Samsung free, so I'm going to leave that in the description so you can download it to see if your, your phone is compatible with the Samsung podcast app. Thanks for watching this video. I go by the name Soji Gray. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that anytime a new video is released, you will be updated instantly. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.